So I'm excited to be bringing you all this top 10 Fallout 76 video. This one took absolutely forever to finish. I decided to compile together 10 out of bounds secrets and more than likely at least one of these secrets within this video will be something completely new to you that you had no idea about. That's my goal out of this video and I'll be honest it's getting harder to show Fallout 76 players new things because well simply the game has just been out for a little over a year now. And by the way if you're new to my channel consider giving it a chance and sticking around and subscribing for more Fallout 76 content. And not to mention if you find this enjoyable guys consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video. That'd be greatly appreciated because it'll get this video more passed around the Fallout community. As always though all of that is totally up to you. I just thought I'd leave it for a reminder here at the beginning. Anyways now let's go ahead and get into this. We got a lot to cover. Enjoy. Okay so for the first one I'll be going over we located at the top of Hopewell Cave. In case you don't know, there is a graveyard on top of this cave, and within this graveyard, you can find a few tombstones that says you're able to interact with. However, when you go to interact with them, nothing happens. And so far, this still remains a mystery in the game. I'm not exactly sure if this is going to be some additional content in Fallout 76 Wastelanders at some point in time, but at the moment, these still remain a mystery. However, I did find something pretty interesting underneath one of these graves that we are able to interact with. I found this by using the underground camp glitch, which I'm not going to be explaining how to do this in this video. If you're curious about it though, there's plenty of videos online that you can find over how to do this. But yeah, as you can see underneath this grave, there is a container that states that it is mission 099-01 package. Unfortunately, however, when you go to activate it, nothing seems to happen whatsoever. Now, I'm not gonna get too much into detail about this because I don't wanna drag on this one out of bounds secret too long to make this video even longer because I got a lot to cover in this, but this does seem to link toward Fort Defiance. As you can see, there are some logs on the terminal that's at the top of the building, which you have to complete recruitment blues to get up to, that goes over the mission 099-01. I mean, there are a couple logs that you can read within this terminal once again, at the top of Fort Defiance. Feel free to pause it if you want to read them and further investigate this a bit for yourself. Or heck, maybe just take the elevator up here yourself if, once again, you complete the Recruitment Blues quest line. But yeah, there's also some orders that you can find over this mission up here as well. I'm hoping that this mystery gets resolved in Wastelanders. Who knows though, maybe this is some additional content that Bethesda plans on adding even further in the future. Or this is just completely cut content, which I'm hoping is not the case. Also, a little side note, I was the first person to discover this strange mission package and the first one to make more of the community aware of this. This next one, however, I didn't discover. A dedicated Fallout 76 streamer that goes by Austral Void recently discovered this out of bounds secret. Well, I guess I shouldn't say they personally discovered it. Someone in their chat within their stream told them about this. And, well, that's how it all chain reacted. Once they learned about this, they then passed it more around the community. And that's how I ended up learning about this. So, yeah, this one is located over at Sutton. Once you get over here, if you go on top of this church and jump onto this that's on top of the roof, to be real with y'all, it can be kind of difficult. It may take you quite a few tries, but eventually if you do make it onto this edge, as you can see, there's an opening here on this. And if you look in this opening, you can see this red mysterious cube. Now, Ostravoid did manage to wall breach inside to get us a closer look. They wanted to keep the glitch classified, however, so players don't abuse it within Fallout 76. But as you can see, when you go up to it, it states that it is a GPU benchmark activator. And when you go to activate it, here is what pops up. It says, send the frame rate through the roof. And it has options that state enable everything, enable actors, and enable players. Unfortunately, it seemed like these options didn't chain react anything within the game however. But if you do select an option on the cube and then go to activate it again, here's what pops up next. Now it states disable everything, disable actors, disable players, or frenzy actors. This is once again really mysterious. I'm not exactly sure what to even make of this. As you can see within this footage that he gave me, he is looking across the roof to see if like it was making the scorch do anything, but it didn't seem like this was doing nothing. 
If any of you have any idea what this might be, feel free to jot it down below in the comments. I would love to hear what you all think about this. And by the way, feel free to check out Astro Boy's Twitch in the description. Once again, they are dedicated to streaming Fallout 76. All right, so this next out of bounds secret will be located over in the White Springs bunker. Once you get in here, you just want to head down to the armory section, which by the way, you are going to have to be general in order to enter this specific location. But yeah, anyways, these gutsies that are back behind this will actually have three special dialogues that they'll say to us when we're back there with them. And in order to get back there, you're just going to have to spawn your power armor on the other side, which you can spawn it on the other side by looking through this opening here with your power armor out and ready to be placed. And when you get it placed, you just have to simply keep running forward and eventually you'll just go right through the wall and enter your power armor that's on the other side, as you can see here. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you all the three special dialogues that we get when we talk to these Mr. Gutsies. Right there, that's one of them. Just go ahead and talk to others that are around in this area that aren't back here, and you'll realize that is a special one. And what the heck? What the heck? What the? I have no idea why they just died randomly. But hang on, I guess I'll come back here again because there's two other lines that I want you all to hear that are special. Probably best if you left the area. Look, I'm not trying to get you in trouble here. But you should go. So, yeah, that's the other two special lines that these Mr. Gutsies back here say. And just for some further proof, I'll go ahead and talk to this one that's not back here to show you that it doesn't say those three lines at all. It's pretty cool to know that the developers literally took the time to implement these on these Mr. Gutsies back here. I mean, think about it. They literally had someone voice those particular lines and add them to those Mr. Gutsies specifically. That's pretty awesome of the developers. Nothing to report, member. Looking for something? There's a big map in the comms room if you get lost. All seems nominal from where I'm standing. System says a resource drop's coming in soon, member. Can probably get in on the action if you hurry. Greetings, member. System so yeah, there's a little bit of proof right there that the Mr. Gutsies that aren't specifically back there won't say those special lines. And I'm gonna count this one as three out of bounds secrets because there were three different dialogues that we can get from the Mr. Gutsies. So that is a total of now five out of bounds secrets that I have showed you. Now let's go ahead and get into this other one. Actually, these next couple will be literally outside of the playable map. So we're gonna have to break through the invisible barrier to see these others. And in order to do that, you're gonna have to place a survival tent or your camp way up here in the top right corner of the map where the compass is. You're going to have to place your survival tent or camp as close as you can to the invisible barrier. I mean, I probably could get this closer, but this should do. And once you got it placed, all you're going to have to do now is just simply back out of the game and go into a nuclear winter match. Be sure to have fill team off, as you can see for the bottom selection there, just so you're not messing up other teammates because we're gonna be entering a nuclear winter match and just losing immediately so we can get this glitch to work to bypass the invisible barriers. All right, so that's over with. So now I just spawned back into a server. It's a little foggy in this server, but as you can see, I can just bypass the invisible barriers now. It's that simple. The fog just randomly disappeared. Nice, I guess the game was still rendering in or something. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut to where the first out of bounds secret is out here. Okay, so I'm at the first out of bounds secret outside of the map. As you can see, it's located right here. Yeah, as you can see, here's what's going on. Very, very random. We got some mannequins with some welding goggles on. A fireman monkey. And yeah, you can take the helmet off of it as well. There's also a porta potty here with a restroom sign above with a teddy bear also wearing welding goggles as well as a blowtorch two in here and there's also just a random flamethrower trap in the back as well like really <laughs> what the heck and inside this little shack we got a ball peen hammer a large toolbox that we can loot if we want and a random tinker's workbench just a very bizarre location once again outside the map. Okay, so for this next out of bounds secret will be located right over here outside the map. You can find some random buildings way out here in the middle of nowhere, as you can see. I'll go ahead and give you a tour on inside these buildings. Over here, we got some random junk items, such as some flower pots, bag of fertilizer, wood scraps, and raw fertilizer. 
and we have some random water as well for the environment around these buildings. So if you think about it, not only did the developers take the time to add these random items and structures out here, but they also took the time to make the environment around these as well. Anyways, there's also a random grocery cart that we can't move whatsoever. There's also some logs around here that we can use to gather wood. And over here inside this building, as you can see for the front, we have an American flag hanging outside of it. And there's also a lantern hanging on the side too. And when we enter inside, we can notice that there's a couple beds in here. We can't use these beds whatsoever to sleep though. Not to mention there's some pillows on this bunk bed here that we can't move whatsoever. And as you can see, there's also a doll on this bunk bed with a fancy hairbrush and some random toys on the floor, as well as a hot plate. And there's typically a hot dog that's on top of this hot plate as well. Anyways, inside the fridge here, you can find some pork and beans. And the most interesting thing that you can find within this building is a random cap stash over here on the side of the bed against the wall. Jeez, <laughs> that's quite a bit of extra caps right there. So random. Anyways, from this building, there's also this random outhouse over here with a Pioneer Scout poster in the outhouse, as well as ball peen hammer and some toilet paper. And not to mention, you can sit down in the outhouse too. Pretty nifty. I kind of wonder if Bethesda plans to expand the map in Fallout 76 sometime in the future or something. Because I'm not going to lie, these don't make any sense. Unless this is just like completely cut content and they had plans for the map to be larger but they just decided not to make it as large. I don't know. And by the way, for those of you that may be wondering, can you place a camp outside here? No. You can't place a camp anywhere outside of the invisible barriers. So just keep that in mind. So for this next Out of Bounds secret, will be located right here outside the map on the Welcome to West Virginia sign. As you can see, there's just a random large body of water out here. And it didn't signify technically that there was water out in this area on the map. It just showed the Welcome to West Virginia sign. There's also an island in the center of this large body of water. It's insane. It'd be so cool if we could build a base here. Oh man. All of this just looks really awesome. Just seeing this amount of water in one location. Anyways, for this ninth Out of Bounds secret will be located over here across the bridge from Point Pleasant. I'm going to be showing y'all where this road leads that's across the broken bridge. Also, I'm going to be showing y'all this random cargo bot swarm. As you can see, you can see a few of them right here. But first, let me go ahead and get into where this road leads. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward me traveling this road just because it is quite a long stretch. As you can see, though, it is pretty detailed. It's broken up. You can also see a random destroyed truck when traveling it. But eventually, the road stops being as detailed and you don't see the yellow lines that's supposed to be in the center. And not to mention, it doesn't seem paved either as a normal road would look. It just seems like an old beaten up path. But if you keep following this path, it'll eventually lead to, well this you'll start seeing like a bunch of floating trees floating rocks floating brush i mean you can clearly tell players aren't supposed to be seeing this area but yeah in case you were ever wondering where this road leads this is where it leads it eventually just stops in the middle of the woods the road is just there to create the illusion that the map is larger than what it seems now let's go ahead and get into this random cargo bot swarm that you can find out here there's like four to seven cargo bots just swarming around this area at all times if you look over here from point pleasant you can typically see them that's why some of you might have already seen these before i was thinking though that they might have been circling something over here because this swarm is always going in a circle over in this general area but no nothing out of the ordinary over here and i have tried taking them all out to see if something special would happen and unfortunately nothing special happened out of that also not to mention they don't drop anything special as well when you do take them out like you know a typical cargo bot so yeah these are just super random i'm not exactly sure once again why but thus they added all of these over here but hey they're over here and they're out of bounds and i decided to add them to this list this is the only place at the moment that you can see this many cargo bots together in Fallout 76. okay so for this last out of bounds secret we'll be located at vault tech university down in the vault simulation room there's a couple doors around down here that are inaccessible at the moment, that is. These could be accessible sometime in the future within Fallout 76 Wastelanders. A Redditor actually figured out a way to get inside one of these rooms by using the camera mode. If you come over to this area within the vault simulation and just go into your camera, as you can see, 
your camera will go outside of the wall and if you travel down you will find yourself in one of the inaccessible rooms at the moment we are not able to access this room whatsoever but sometime in the future we might be able to let me go ahead and uh, turn off depth of view and brighten up the place a bit you can see this is what it looks like and believe it or not this room is actually in the official 76 guidebook there's no information other than it's called the records chamber which connects from the maintenance room that's how you get down into this area and at the moment the maintenance door is inaccessible I'll go ahead and show you that door down in here yeah that door is also inaccessible but there's also another one which is the maintenance room and it's located right here we can't open this whatsoever at the moment. Once again, this could be something that will involve Fallout 76 Wastelanders. I'm not exactly sure. But either way, I thought it would be interesting to show you all. I have a link, by the way, to the Redditor's post that discovered this. I'll be honest with you, I didn't discover this. Gotta give credit where credit is due. But yeah, I guess I'll start wrapping up this video, everyone. This took absolutely forever to compile together. Hopefully you found this enjoyable, and within this you learned something new. That was my goal after all. If you found this enjoyable, it would be greatly appreciated if you could take a little bit of your time and leave a like. And hey, if you're new around here, maybe consider giving my channel a chance and sticking around and subscribing for more Fallout 76 content. As always, though, all of that is totally up to you. At least thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. I'm out of here, though. Until next time, everyone. Peace.